Hello, welcome back! Lewis here, and this is, uh, this is part three of my update of my Technic Pack Madness for you. And, uh, with this episode, I'm going to be talking to you roughly about all of the amazing things to do with the Technics Pack. I've had a request, and you want to know how you get it, how it works, and what patches and mods and things, and there's a squid trying to eat grass. Ooh, he's trying to make himself into a block. He's trying to be a grass block. You dirty squid, you. Ooh, ooh. So yes, um, let's let's get going, shall we? So firstly, um, a request came through, and the request was, what patches, mods, and texture pack do you use? Now, in the link below, I'll put all of the links to everything I'm about to say. Mods, very, very easy. Mod-wise, uh, there isn't really much to go by for mods. In the back of this, there are absolutely tons of mods working. There is industrial craft, there is, um, there is all the redstone patches, there is loads and loads of uh, different patches all running in conjunction with each other. But the main one you want to download if you want to play this type of stuff is called Techit. Uh, it kind of goes with the name. So I will put a link in the uh, description bar. And um, basically, if you go onto Google and just put in Technics Pack, you will have the choice to download Techit, which is the one I'm playing now, which is the multiplayer version of the Technics Pack. And from there, you can put that onto your own servers and you can share it and blah, 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 blah. And the reason I'm playing Techit is because I want to share this world with people once I'm completed. Uh, so you can all have a game with me and it will be good times. So on that, when you download it, uh, the only weird thing that's a little bit different is uh, instead of uh, just launching Minecraft as you would, double uh, just click on the Minecraft uh, tab, you click on the Technics Pack tab. And what that will do is that will ask for your username and password, just like you're signing into uh, Minecraft. Uh, but before you do that, you'll have a drop down bar and you can either select Technics Pack, you can select Techit, or you can select Vanilla. Uh, and they kind of go... Um, they kind of sound exactly as if that is exactly what they are. So Techit is the multiplayer version, which is this one. The Techit pack is identical, but that's single player. And Vanilla is if you don't want to play any of them, uh, but are still launching it through the Techit pack, which is uh, a bit pointless. Uh, and that is pretty much it. That's how you do it. That's how you get all these really cool mobobs. And uh, I don't think you saw these last time. We had water ones, but now we've got fire. We have fire. We have flames and, and red stuff, and it's great. Uh, and I will put that to work at some point. I go, oh, look at all these squids. What are they doing? Why are they still like pissing about? Weird little squid things. Uh, oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I think I was just being Skyped. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll forget that one. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, yeah, Tenix pack. Now, when it comes to uh, the texture pack I'm using, this one is called Sphinx. Uh, oh, God, can I remember? Uh, Sphinx BD Minecraft, I think? Uh, I'll have to double check that one. Sphinx BD Minecraft, I think that's the one. Uh, I will put the texture, oh, the texture, I'll put the link below, uh, and from there you can load that in, but you'll also need a world converter. Now, when you're on the website, you can download the world converter as well, and that will allow you to play your, uh, world in high definition, because the Sphinx, um, texture pack that I'm using is a high definition texture pack and you will need to change your uh, game world to be able to accept a high definition texture pack to use these textures uh, and that is pretty much it uh, it looks like I've downloaded loads doesn't it but basically all you want is the Technics pack and you want the Sphinx BD Minecraft and that is your texture pack and that gives you all these amazing textures and everything looks very pretty um, so that is pretty much it I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. I'll be back to you with a, uh, another update very soon. My name's Lewis, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.